Okay. This is making so much sense right now. This is making all the sense in the world. Oh man, close that door. Anyways, what's up guys? My name is Tony and welcome to Hypothermia. This is a very atmospheric, uh, I don't know if it's story driven, but the atmosphere in this game is just amazing. I had to record it in. So this game is about hypothermia pretty much so you have the mental health uh, you have your physical health and you have your warm-up meter hypothermia type of stuff I don't even know what to call it but anyways before I start most of you guys uh, like my I killed videos and since it's Sunday today it should be an I killed video but it's actually coming out tomorrow so there there you go heads up for that now uh, let's begin so what does it say it becomes harder to survive in such conditions so luckily I have some supplies Food restores health, so that is my first uh, red bar in the left hand side. Pills restore mental health, but they damage the physical health. That, that actually makes a lot of sense, it, it, just like in real life. And then alcohol helps me warm up, but it damages uh, my physical and mental health. Well, uh, that actually makes a lot of sense, but alcohol is gonna make me feel good, isn't it? <laughs> so we got some pills, I feel like Max Payne in this freaking thing. Okay, alcohol, bread, what does it say in this journal, diary, whatever it is? Okay, so this is the story, let's begin. I don't remember how long I have been here, maybe for a few weeks, maybe for a few years. How don't you know if it's a few weeks or years? <laughs> Okay, whatever, let's read on. I don't even remember why I am on this deserted island. The only thing that is still intact in my memory is that it wasn't so cold here before. I should inspect nearby huts. I can probably find something useful there. Why is it a hut there? Who lived in it? I can't recall. Alright, so I got all the stuff from the hut, maybe- Oh, more meat! Oh, meat! That is awesome! Get a, like, warm up by the fire, so- Okay, let me- let me actually check that. Open the door! I'm gonna probably get cold. Yup, I'm cold. And by the fire- <laughs> I'm warming up by the fire. That is amazing. So, I would rather just stay in this little hut, sleep, uh, write my diary, uh, continue the story of the diary, maybe- where does he get the wood for this freaking thing? Okay, <laughs> whatever. But I think we need to go outside. All right, let's open this door. Let's open this bad boy and I'm off. Damn, it's cold. I can almost feel the cold. Holy hell. This would be really, really weird on the Oculus Rift, but these atmospheric games are so cool. Oh, is that... Is it like a tower or something? Okay, whatever. Is that a person? This is a Yeti. <gasps> Why hasn't this bridge collapsed yet? It's quite high. I should not look. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Should I warm up? Should I drink my alcohol, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna drink my alcohol. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't have dr drink drank my alcohol. Okay, okay, okay. My mental health is going down. What do I do? Okay, pills. Oh, this is really weird. Oh my god, I, it would make me so dizzy on the Oculus Rift. Am I gonna die now? I'm probably gonna die now. I don't have any pills left, I don't have anything. Yep, I kinda died. Alright, I need to be much faster. It's a real problem that you can't jump. It's so hard. Alright, I'm gonna use the pill in a few moments so my mental health goes up a little bit so I'm not this dizzy. Does it really make you this dizzy? Like, when it's so cold. This is... Oh my god, I mean, I, I'm probably not going the right way. This is much harder than I thought. God damn it, I fell down into the water. This is so freaking hard. I did not expect this to be hard. I thought it was like a nice, atmospheric, story-driven game, but no, this is freaking hard. Oh, finally I did it. Where's the Yeti guy? The Yeti guy is kind of gone. I have no idea where he is, but... Why am I not taking any damage now? I'm not even feeling dizzy. Okay, <laughs> works for me, but I need to warm up ASAP. Okay, alcohol warm me up, but my mental health is down now. Okay, I am almost, almost at the hut. Please tell me there's a fireplace or something, please. Oh my god, okay. At least the hut protects me from the wind. Um... Why? Okay, what the hell? I don't understand what's happening right now. Okay, what is this guy? I picked up a rope. I'm not sure what I can do with a rope. Alcohol! Yay! Oh! Holy crap! There's still time. That kind of scared me. Stranger, don't sneak up on me like that, man. Oh, damn. Okay, let's see what it says. Every night in my dreams, I see the deep pit. I know I must descend there. My life depends on it, but I'm too terrified. Every time it feels like some dark, relentless force holds me from even approaching the pit. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, um, I really need to find a place where I can warm up. I might use the alcohol, but I- Oh, bread. 
Bread is awesome. Let me eat some bread. Let me eat some of that. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm gonna bring my mental health up without the pills. God damn it, maybe maybe there's something in the crate. Alright, let's go let's go to the crate and see if I can do anything with it. I picked up some food. God damn it! Okay. Uh, another crate, please tell me this is some pills. It's empty. God, of course it's empty. Of course it's empty. So I can attach my rope to this. Okay. Oh my god, I can descend into this pit. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god, this is actually very exciting. What? I so I, I climbed out of this. And now I am back? Or I at least I'm not cold anymore, but what what the this is not even making any sense. What am I supposed to do with this? It's like a keyhole. Is that a keyhole? I'm not sure if that's a keyhole. Okay. Uh, what about any bread or something? No. I... Open! The door doesn't want to open. What am I supposed to do? Okay, the door just opened. Um... I'm just gonna go outside. Oh, another skeleton. Skeleton, what can you offer me today? Can you offer me something nice, like a rope again, maybe? No, no, that does not look like it. Uh, I'm just gonna search around in the crates. Okay, oh, some alcohol. That is always nice to have. Okay, just gonna warm up a little bit, and I'm off. Since there's nothing there, I'm just gonna go. Okay, uh, hopefully I don't get dizzy again. And where the hell is that Yeti guy? That freaking guy. He scared the crap out of me before. All right, skeleton. I, I died. What? Oh, I lost my mental health this time. What, what am I supposed to do with that? My mental health is going down regardless because it's so cold. I, I'm not even gonna take any alcohol or anything. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pass by these skeletons. I don't even care anymore. Uh, there's a hut. Holy crap! Okay, what? Okay, I am in a weird anti-gravity space right now. I'm not even gonna ask any questions. I'm just gonna be off. I am off. I don't care if there's there's like pills in the crate bag that I missed. I I, I just. Okay, this is making so much sense right now. This is making all the sense in the world. Just a random hut flying by. Cool. <laughs> That's casual. That's what I see every single day in my life. Okay, what the hell? A new diary. Let's see what it says. A renowned polar explorer had fallen in coma because of hypothermia. Colleagues found him lying on the... Is that me? Is that me who they found in the coma? Oh my god. So, colleagues found him lying on the snow near the station. The explorer's last journal records show traces of mental disorder. Doctors say his chances to survive are small. I reckon that's me. To be continued. God. Is that... It must be me. I mean, I have mental disorders since uh, I see huts flying around and at a gravity space. Well... It was actually awesome. I I didn't know what to expect of this game first when I opened it, but this was actually surprisingly amazing. I was getting goosebumps. I was getting scared. <laughs> Such an atmospheric little game. It's awesome. I recommend you guys check it out. The link is in the description. It's completely free. You can play it in your browser. It's what I'm doing right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a new Gmod video. My name is Tony, guys. And signing off. Bye-bye.